Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I will be giving you tips and tricks on ways to grow your inventory. A lot of you guys have been requesting that I do this video so here it is. Anyways let's get started with the first tip. My first tip is to buy one or two eggs each day. I suggest buying only the cracked egg or gumbel egg though. This is because they have the best bang for your buck. The gumbel egg which right now is the desert egg, has a 4% chance of hatching a legendary from it. That might seem like not a lot considering that you are paying 750 bucks for it, but the pet egg which costs 600 bucks has a 3% chance of hatching a legendary and the pets that come from it aren't worth that much. And don't even bother spending 1450 bucks on the royal egg, as it is really not worth the high price. You can literally get the same pets from the cracked egg for a much lower price. By hatching one egg each day for a year you can get up to 365, 366 if it's a leap year, pets if you don't trade them away. I do know that by doing this you are going to get many duplicates so here is another tip on what to do with them. My second tip is to make neons and megas. You can use duplicates of pets you got from eggs or just trade pets to get 4 or 16 of the same pet. Making neons and megas can really upgrade your inventory. I have already made two neons this year. The secret is to make only common, uncommon or rare neons as they take less time and also most of the time have preppy value. For example neon mouses have really good value but mouses on their own don't. So it really upgrades your inventory a lot. And it also gives you something to do in Adopt Me if you get bored. And you get a cute little glowing pet at the end. Anyways let's move on to the third tip. My next tip is to do trading challenges. They are really fun to do and can also get you really good pets. Some of my favorites to do are common to legendary challenges, poor to rich challenges and also cat to dream pet challenges. I am currently doing a cat to cow challenge and have already got really good pets. It'll show you. Here they are. Basically what I do is trade one pet for an upgrade and a common and then I trade that common up so that I have heaps of pets to trade, and eventually, can trade all of them for a cow. I have a few trading challenges on my channel already so I will link them in the description and in the iCard. But yeah, by doing these challenges you can really upgrade your inventory. On to the next tip. Okay guys, my next tip is to join rich servers. This is more for people wanting to trade their better pets as people in rich servers will have good pets for them. To get into a rich server all you have to do is go to servers underneath the adopt me join page. And I personally press exclude full servers so that I have more of a chance to get into one. Then scroll down until you find a server with at least 4 people on the front with avatars that contain robux items. There may be a queue but honestly they only take like max 5 minutes to load into. As you can see, this server is really rich. And sometimes people can give you some really good overpays for your pets. Literally look at what this person is offering for this person's hedgehog. Yeah, rich servers can be a really easy way to upgrade your inventory. Just remember to be nice to everyone. Let's move on to tip number 5. My next and final tip is to grind for bucks. Bucks can be really helpful to complete a bunch of these tips, especially the egg one. One of the great ways to grind for bucks is to make a grinding room, because then you can easily complete tasks for pets and yourself. To easily complete tasks for babies it's smart to have a water cooler and a pizza dough maker. For tasks for pets and babies a bed, bath, water and food bowls and also pianos are good to have. Having these items can let you complete a variety of tasks from the company of your own home. Again grinding for bucks can really make it way easier to complete a variety of the tips I have shown you. So let's start to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope that some of these tips can help you grow your inventory. I will see you in next week's video. Bye.